Hi everyone, my name is Carlos Estero and I belong to the MIA Security and System Management Business Development Team as Manageability Specialist. So let's go now to see a short demo about what OMC provides for managing Oracle Exadata. To start, you can see the home page of OMC on the left. We have the main menu with a list of direct access to all OMC services and administration. This home page contains all integrated services available in Oracle Management Cloud for advanced monitoring and analytics. So let's do click on IT Analytics in order to access to the out-of-the-box dashboard. This demonstration mainly is going to be done from OMC Service IT Analytics. This is a module that uses machine learning applied to the historical data and provides with advanced information about application, host, middleware, database, and exadata. This module has several out-of-the-box dash dashboards available for business analysts or love executive. And during my session, I will demo some of them related with Exadata analysis and its databases. Then click in the Exadata analytics menu option. When we click in the Exadata analysis um, dashboard, we can see here different charts that provide to us with a lot of information from the Exadata machine and the databases. For example, the amount of Exadata machine by type we have in our system. Clicking here in this number, we can see all the system types of Exadata machine with the rack type. Also provides with the list of Exadata systems with low utilization, which is very interesting as well, in order to distribute the workload across our system. As part of the analysis, we can see in this area the projection that we have in terms of usage of our Exadata. And in this case, the information is divided into several blocks, depending on the number of days where the usage is high or low. And in this case, we have three extra data that are within the high utilization block, within the first 30 days. When I select one, I can access to a summary of current utilization in terms of CPU memory and jobs. Doing click on the view details, we access to the detailed dashboard for this specific Exadata machine. In this detailed dashboard of IT Analytics, we can see different types of charts and different types of information. In this case, we can see, for example, the inventory within the Exadata. We can also see the several metrics related with the databases and hosts, and we can see also the topology. Taking about the topology, let's click on the topology icon it shows all the architecture and the element that makes X data machine. These elements are all the databases, all the hosts and nodes that Exadata has in the information of network devices, which is infiniteband and storage. We could also look in the chart when any of these entities are down or has any problem. We can do drill down inside any element for collecting more detailed information for troubleshooting issues. Coming back to the inventory of the Exadata machine, we have here a graphic representation of the Exadata hardware. We can see all the elements that are inside of the Exadata. If we go further down here, we can also access to the detailed charts for all databases with their historical CPU, memory, storage, and EOPS usage. The same for hosts like CPU and core used and memory. And the storage server, can, we can look very valuable information regarding ACM storage, IOPS, speed, and throughput. And going back to the databases, we can choose to go deeper on any database existing on my Exadata. Or go to access to the database resource analytics dashboard for doing a forecasting analysis. The database resource analysis dashboard allowed to us to do an historical analysis performed by machine learning of the main metrics of our databases like the amount CPU of usage, memory, I.O. and storage, and the machine learning forecast of select aggregated resources in our EXA. Understanding better the exadata resource usage trends, we can anticipate the future needs of our application. In this analysis, it's also relevant to make the same analysis on the host platform. So going to the host resource analytics dashboard and keeping the same filter, which include the Exadata machine with two hosts, we can apply the same procedure 
and discover current utilization for CPU and memory, and discover if those resources are running over the limit of 80%, and see a projection with trends and forecast for host resources availability as well. Another interesting exercise would be to obtain all CPU and memory resources available in whole data center for a better understanding of your resource availability, resource needs, and resource distribution. In order to perform this analysis, we must remove the filter and then analyze all hosts at the same time. So we will see all CPU and memory usage and availability of our data center, not only in the stat data. And finally, going to the last use case, we will go to the database performance analysis dashboard. This dashboard provides with an advanced analysis of our database, not only Oracle databases, but also SQL Server and MySQL. This advanced analysis tells us which database in my data center are running with degradation, maybe with a workload that have changed a lot in a short period of time, or they are running with too uh, much inefficiency. This easy way is to click in the number of say uh, that says in this example there are eight databases with degradation. Here we can see all databases affect. If we select one of them, for example, sales WUT, we see access to a view with the trends of this database in terms of uh, performance, including the summary of trends of the forecast for next 30 days. Also, in the workload and performance variability, with all SQLs affected by changes in response time, including anomalies. Inefficient active session with poor performance in weights, IO, and CPU. And top degrading SQLs, where we have the possibility to select an individual SQL and analyze it more in depth, including active session average response time, and so on. So, with this last analysis, my demo concludes. Thank you very much for your attention.